Yo, what is up guys? It is Blue here, and today where we will be reviewing Lego Ninjago Set 71790. It is for ages 6 and up, and it is called the Imperium Dragon Hunter Hound. It has 198 pieces, and well, it's from one of the Dragon's Rising sets, which I have no idea about. I have not watched it, anything since Crystallized. But yeah, so let's get into the set. First, we'll be taking a look at the box, which I don't think you guys can even see. But, um, yeah. Comes with three new figures, which is pretty good. I don't think you guys can even really see. Yeah, it's got J. Lloyd and maybe a foot soldier. I have no idea. And then we go to the back. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then, I guess that's pretty much it for the box. So, so first we'll be taking a look at the dragon, or if it is a dragon, but it's it's not bad for twenty dollars set. I think the tail could have been a little bit better, maybe slightly longer, like you know how long Ninjago dragons are. And then uh, we got this. Oh, oh, I don't think you guys can see it, but it's got like this. Hold on, let me just. It's got this kind of symbol. I don't know, it's not focusing, but like. Yeah, that's pretty much that. And then overall. I'll, I'll put this back on later. But overall, I guess this is pretty good. Some parts could be better, but I mean, yeah, I get it. For me, there's not much to say about I haven't seen any uh, Ninjago Dragons Rising. I've, I've seen the trailer. It looks, it's not bad, but so, yeah, I haven't seen much. Let's take a look at the minifigures. We will be first taking a look at um, this villain type guy. Like, he's got a bunch of different colors. He's got like orange, some gold, black, gunmetal gray, silver. Yeah. But let's take a look at his weapon. Because he comes with this kind of. I don't know how to say it, but it's like a. It's like a nice weapon. I like how they molded this. It looks nice. And then taking a look at the figure. Say about it because like, I've said multiple times I have no idea who this is or what this is. I have not seen any crystallized, maybe not, not crystallized, but dragons rise, but like, you guys know what I mean. So taking a look at him. I mean he's quite he's pretty nice. You can see how the gold reflects in the gunmetal gray. Should wait. No, that's that's just gray. It's not even gunmetal gray. So here's what he looks like without his helmet, or half, whatever you call it. Then, pretty much here's the back. And then, the armor's quite nice, I guess. And then, here's the back without the armor. And then here's the entire front. Like, it kind of looks like a, like a face or something. Like, because of the orange on the side, it looks kind of like eyes. But, I mean, yeah, I guess, I guess that's pretty much it for him. I don't have much to say about him. But I am excited to get into Jay and Lloyd, so let's get into them. Alright, so, uh, for the first two ninja, we're going to be taking a look at Jay. Overall, I think, I think he looks pretty nice. It's really nice. We've got this new, um, uh, molded armor piece with the ZX, um, Sword holder piece, holster, I have no idea what to call it, I can't remember. But, I mean, yeah, it looks kind of like it's part of his Evo suit, which I don't have my hands on right now since it's on display. But yeah, yeah, pretty much. So he, he pretty much just comes with two katanas. You can, it's just the two basic katanas you usually get in pretty much almost every uh, Ninjago set. Yeah. Goes to the side, and then now taking a look at the actual minifigure, because it looks like he's got like this 
navy blue, which the, which you know, which uh, with a normal blue, and then he's got a little bit of gold and the yellow, which somewhat uh, represents shows ego suits, you could say. Yeah. So I'm gonna take off his hat or hood, you could call it, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. But, so here he is without his um, armor and stuff, you know what I mean, but yeah, so this, this kind of reminds me of Prime Empire J, well pretty much all the ninja because they had like some sort of visor to cover the face but still show their mouth, and then overall, it, it kind of, it actually, you no, know, the, the, the top part of the suit actually reminds me more of the crystallized J, like without the what do you call it, the gold armor, the gold on him, I don't have him since I never got him, but yeah, I'm seeing like the back of him, it's actually quite interesting, let's make the camera focus, because we have a new J face print, which is really nice, considering you've had the same face print since the Ninjago movie, I can't remember what year they were, but you pretty much had them for yeah, pretty much until we finally got these new sets. So here's his hairpiece. I don't have his hairpiece with the headband right now, but yeah, it's really nice to finally get a new print overall. And then he also has like this dragon print on the back, which is quite nice. It reflects, and yeah. So. I guess that's all what I've got to say for Jay, but yeah. Alright, we're now taking a look at the final minifigure of the set, and the final ninja of the set we got Lloyd. I mean, it looks pretty similar to Jay's, but like, alright, because just like Jay, if I can take this out, he comes with his standard um, golden katanas, or sometimes silver katanas, but I guess they don't look gold for them. I don't know about the other ninja, but I mean, that's just what they come with. So, yeah, kind, pretty much kind of just remind me of the, the torso, suit, ninja suit. It just, it, like I said for Jay, it reminds me of his crystallized suit, which I'm pretty sure I do have. I mean, eh, now that you look at them, they don't look, yeah, because the green is a normal brightish green, while this green is more of a darker tone, not as dark as the other green on it, but, I mean, it, it kind of looks similar, without, like, all, a lot of armor and a lot of gold, really, and the different armor, but yeah, so, we're gonna take off the it off. I'm gonna take off the armor and his hat or whatever you call it. So like Jay, with that open mouth, it kind of just looks similar to the normal Lloyd face where he's making that face like side by side. Okay. It looks pretty much the same without the eyes on the normal face. So yeah. Um, when I look at them, Jay and Lloyd, they look pretty similar, so there's not much to say about them. I think we can the back. Okay, the back actually has something different, which is quite nice. And let me compare it to Jay's one. Actually, wait. Never mind, it's, it's, it's pretty much the same. The dragon, the gold dragon part is the same, but like dark green details that's completely different and the neck part I don't know I don't know what to call it but yeah it's got some slight differences on there but yeah and then we also get an all new face print which I'm pretty sure is the face print Here's what he looks like with his hair. It looks quite nice, I must say. 
like, like I said, it's really nice to get new face prints every now and then because we've had their default head since the Ninjago movie. And overall, that, that gets quite boring after quite some time. Even though we did get some new face prints for Zane, I heard in the, um, the new Ninjago City set. But yeah. And then. I don't know what. Yeah. So pretty much, I guess, I guess that's gonna be it. Uh, well, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, guys. So I guess that's gonna wrap it up for this video. And yeah. And then also, I'm sure some of you may or may not have heard of Apple TV, which my brother posted on Instagram. And uh, I don't really want to get into detail about it since. I, I, I just don't really want to and then even if I wanted to YouTube would probably take my video down and yeah. But overall this is a very solid Ninjago set and for the price of $20 I think it's it's, it's definitely interesting I'm gonna say it but like hey you get two free ninja and um, one of the villains so yeah I guess that's it about them so Thanks for watching and I guess stay tuned in case. Yeah, see you.